Hey guys, it's Zenpai here. For this video, I want to share with you some tips on how to optimize your screen layout in Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier. Um, so first of all, let's go to the settings. Um, we're going to go to camera and we're going to check off the box that says standard up here. Now you don't want accelerated because accelerated is generally a setting that's for controllers where it keeps your sensitivity um, kind of low at first so that you can do minor adjustments when you're aiming for like sniping for example so when you're aiming at a target in front of you you don't want it to go swinging wildly to the left and the right and not be able to lock down your target um, and what acceleration does is yeah it's it starts it off at like a low sense and then it starts ramping up um, so that you can do bigger movements for like when you need to do a quick 180 or just like big movements in general um, that requires um, you looking around a lot. Um, so Accelerated is um, a setting specifically designed for controllers. I guess you could run it on touch screen if you'd like, but I don't recommend it. With standard, what it allows for you is to kind of get your aiming down to muscle memory so that a set amount of movement on your thumb will give you a set amount of camera movement in game. Um, now for your sensitivity, I recommend that you just practice some flick shots in the firing range or you can do it in game if you'd like. Um, and basically you're gonna wanna make it so that you get good flick shots. So if you're over aiming, um, if you're over turning, you're gonna wanna turn your sensitivity down. Uh, but you're going to want to make sure that you're consistently over aiming before you start turning it down. Generally, you're going to want to turn it down by like minus five, um, yeah, in increments of five um, in your sensitivity. And if you're under turning, then ramp it up, right? Go plus five, plus five, plus five until it gets somewhere that's good for you. And then you can start doing some fine adjustments with like plus one, plus two or whatever you'd like. Um, now on to controls. Um, so here I have my movement tools on the left. Obviously your aim is going to be on the right over here. Um, and so I recommend that you have your movement all on the left side or just all on one side in general, right? So that you can um, basically you move here and you can jump with your index finger or roll over here. Um, while you are aiming on the right side over here. And then I also have my fire button up here and I don't have it as a joystick because I don't want it ruining my aim. So I have it on fixed fire um, and the setting that says, um, let's see here, this right here, change the right fire button to joystick. I disabled that so that if I'm holding the fire button, if my right index finger is moving, it's not gonna mess up my aim because I like to aim with my thumb down here. This way I can um, control, obviously, like my shots. I can keep shooting or stop shooting while I'm aiming. Um, it's very useful, obviously, especially for um, semi-auto um, fire weapons like the revolver shotgun and snipers so you can aim down here and then shoot here instead of like holding this yeah it, you can see how it'd be awkward um and then i recommend that you have um your fire button and your aim button and on different sides you can have it one on the left one on the right however you want um for me, I like it, yeah, this aim button on the left and my fire button on the right. If you play with a six finger claw, I guess you could have it like up here. So your middle finger activates a scope and then you can use this to shoot while you're aiming down here or something like that. Um, but I'm only using a four finger claw and I'm pretty sure for most phones, that's the most you can do anyway. Um, so yeah like a six finger claw or a 10 finger claw or whatever you'd like is kind of only relevant for an iPad, um, which I am playing on an iPad, but 
um, the controls and the screen layout, the principles to it still applies for a phone. Um, lastly, I have my weapon switch over here in the top left. And that is so that I can do this technique called this switch shot, which where normally if you shoot um, like an automatic weapon, fully automatic weapon, it will lock you into a slower movement animation um, so that you're shooting and strafing and you're moving at a slower animation. Whereas if you're normally moving and not shooting, you're sprinting. What the switch shot technique does is it allows you to shoot and then switch right away so that it forces you into sprint right away. Um, so what that does is it makes you very difficult to hit. It makes you very mobile. Um, it allows you to kite your enemies more um, and just lets you cover ground a lot more. So especially if you're chasing someone, it's very useful um, because you're not locked into that slower movement animation while you're shooting at them, right? You're kind of like shot, sprint, shot, sprint. Um, now, now to, to utilize this technique, technique you're going to want to do what is called a flam. Well, first, first of all, actually, um, my, my weapon, weapon switch, switch, there is a small part of this um, button um, where if you press it, it'll force your gun into single fire. And that's why I have this kind of like going past the screen because I don't want to accidentally trigger that instead of switching my weapon. And I don't really use my like single fire stuff because I can kind of just control that with my trigger finger on the right over here. And that's why I have this in there because I don't really use it. But if you have very good um, finger discipline, then it doesn't really matter if you have it over here because you'll be able to hit it consistently if you're good with it, right? Now, the switch shot technique I'll show you. You generally want it with the Gamma Sniper Rifle and the Eclipse Shotgun because these are the hardest hitting guns um, of their class. And the other guns, they have faster fire rate, but the fire rate doesn't really matter when you're utilizing this technique. So I want to show you first that this is what it looks like when you're sprinting. You can see you lagging. Um, and then when you start shooting, it slows you down into this movement, right? But with the switch shot technique, it'll go like this. Oh my, the lag. So you can see I immediately go into a sprint. I shoot and switch and it goes into a sprint. So um, to do this technique, you're going to want to do the flam, um, which is like a musical term for percussion. Um, so imagine doing a drum roll with your fingers like this, but you're only using two fingers and you're going, you're only doing two hits, so you go flam. So like one, two, flam, right? But in this situation, you're gonna wanna use two different um, fingers. So first point of contact is your right side and then your left side. Well, first point of contact is your fire button um, and then your weapon switch button. So you're going to go one over there and then two. So you go flam, flam, right? And that's what's going to give you the switch shot technique. Wow, the lag is incredible, right? Um, yeah, so you're going to want to get this down to muscle memory so that you don't have to worry about getting the rhythm so you're not like in the back of your head focusing on getting the rhythm of your shots right and you can focus more on your positioning your movement and your aim right once you have that down this flam then you're going to want to move on to um mixing in some jumps in there just to maximize your movement and make yourself more difficult to hit. So you go flam, jump, flam, rest. That's the pattern. So you go flam, jump, flam, rest. Right? So that's like the general uh, rhythm. And then once you get used to it, you can 
yeah, focus more on your movement and your aim especially, right? And then it's good to mix in your jumps as well um, so that you can angle yourself better for a fireball. Um, because it can be difficult to hit your opponent when they're doing like movements like this, right? Um, but then when they're doing circles like that, then obviously they're prone to getting hit by AoE from fire or bio. Um, but yeah, so... You're gonna want to get used to it. So you can do something like this. Right? Uh, and I recommend that you start off this switch shot combo with the sniper rifle. Because the sniper has 8 shots and the shotgun only has 6. So to maximize your damage, you're going to want to start off with the sniper because you're going to run out of ammo on your shotgun first. So start with your sniper first. So um, it isn't completely accurate, like your hip fire. So you can see this is what it looks like. Your the crosshair is it's pretty accurate, but yeah, you can see that it's not a hundred percent centered, and then it's gonna be even more inaccurate as you're moving. But it's still very accurate, especially at a range. Like this is probably the optimal range for this technique, like a shotgun range. Essentially. Um, but yeah, so make sure you start off with the sniper just to maximize your damage output. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's all for this video. Um, yeah, if you like this video, good for you. <laughs> but that's all I have for today. Um, hope you guys have a good one. See ya.